Now Sports Central, presented by Table Mountain Casino. Kind of an interesting spot for Fresno State football today. A week after clinching the West Division title in a second straight appearance in next Saturday's Mountain West Championship game, the Bulldogs hosting one win San Jose State as a 32-point favorite. Of course, the Spartans are the dog's oldest rival, and the, this trophy, the Valley Trophy, was at stake. It was also senior day for Fresno State. 28 seniors honored pregame, including quarterback Marcus McMarion and receiver Keyshawn Johnson. On the opening kickoff, Jameer Jordan returned at 65 yards, but that was about it for a very sluggish first half when it comes to highlights. It was only 3-0 Bulldogs at the break. Now, Marcus McMarion and company would come out with much more juice after halftime, though. On their second possession of the second half, McMarion finds Keyshawn Johnson for 45 yards down to the one. And one play later, Jordan Mims is going to punch it in. That made it 10-zip Bulldogs. On the Bulldogs' next possession, then, more Keyshawn. He's going to make the catch. He's going to make a couple moves. This is a 31-yard touchdown and a little Bulldog history, because with that catch, Keyshawn passes Charlie Jones to become the career leader in receiving yards at Fresno State. He finished with seven catches for 173 yards. Now, the two teams would trade touchdowns soon after that, so it's now 24-7 Fresno State late in the fourth when we get the play of the night. Sophomore linebacker Aaron Mosby picking off the pass, and the Sanger High product goes 95 yards to the house. 31-7 dogs at that point. They go on to win 31-13. Here's Sports Central's Julia Lopez with more from Bulldog Stadium. Scott, it was a tale of two halves tonight as the Bulldogs were only able to put up three points in the first half, but in the second half, they got a much needed spark by the senior duo Marcus McMarion and Keyshawn Johnson. Johnson put up a career high 173 yards receiving and in the process became Fresno State's all time leader in that category. It's a good accomplishment and I feel great for it and great for my teammates. You know, everything they come in and work with me every day make me better. So, you know, I was just worried about getting the win, but it, it was like I said last, it was a bittersweet. It was a bittersweet feeling. And uh, I know I'm done here playing at Bulldog Stadium, but I'm proud and I'm happy for all the fans that came out and supported us tonight. He's on a mission once he catches it. He, he really competes hard for the ball. When those are 50-50 balls, he's going to get them. Uh, and he wants to do something with it after he gets it in his hands. Next up for the Bulldogs, a trip to the Mountain West Championship game for the second straight year. And we asked George Helmuth earlier in the week who he wanted to play between Utah State and Boise State. And you know what? He did not hold back. He said he wanted the Broncos. So, Scott, did he get what he wished for? 